Hi, this is Cherney Vitello and Ashley Gingham from Whiting Consulting, and this is our version of what not to wear for the interview. What we're going to do is help Ashley put together a couple great outfits for her interview on a college budget. I get asked a lot of questions on what should I wear for an interview, especially if you're going into a company that you know is business casual. So my advice is always to dress up versus down. Ashley has a really nice outfit on today that would be great for a business setting environment once she starts working. She has a couple key pieces here, but this is not something I would wear for an interview. She has a nice white start shirt, gray pants, and some great black pumps, but what she needs to do is add some accessories to make it professional for an interview setting. So my suggestion is go into your closet and if you're going shopping, pick a couple mix and match pieces so you can get more outfits out of um, versus buying just one suit. So what I like to do is start out with a black blazer to add to Ashley's outfit here. Black is great, it goes with any type of complexion, and you can just slap it on with a pair of pants, and even though they're not matchy-matchy, it's, it's good to mix and match outfits. And what I would do is add an accessory of a necklace, and this would be look number one. So, she has a nice necklace, white shirt, pants, great outfit for number one. By just adding a scarf to this outfit, and buttoning the shirt, the blazer here, we now have two looks for the price of one. So she could wear the first look as interview number one. Interview number two, she could wear the same outfit but add a scarf, and you have a totally different interview for the same company. Awesome. This is look number one for black and white. We'll be back soon with look number two. Hi, so we're back again. This is look number two. So Ashley put on a nice sheath black dress, which is classic. It goes with everything. And you can get them at any store, whether you're at JCPenney's or Talbot's or Ann Taylor or The Loft. Pretty much everyone carries a standard black dress, and it's a great piece to have in your work wardrobe. You either could go to an interview like this, but I suggest always covering up your shoulders and your arms. But what you could do is layer is by adding a necklace. Pearls are great. Pearls are always classic. They're to the point and very, very professional. So if you add a strand of pearls, and I actually got these at Forever 21 for $9. You add in a nice blazer, and this is from the Limited. I got it on sale for $40. You have a nice professional interview look. This is fantastic. It looks great. A classic, classic look. But the only reason why I wouldn't buy a blazer like this, and I'm showing this particular blazer in this segment, is this blazer is memorable. It has a lot of decorative ornaments to it, so it'd be hard to repeat this a couple times. People will remember this blazer. It was funny, we just put it on and people were like, oh, I remember when you wore that to work. So even though it looks fantastic, I would get a more of a classic piece that you can mix and match a little bit more and have a great classic look. You also could take the blazer off and add a sweater to this look and you have another great look for an interview. A sweater is fantastic for an interview. I would do a standard cardigan with the pearls and then you got another great look. I would go with a sweater that has a little bit of, you know, decorativeness to this. This has a little bit of ruffle. Again, I got this at the Limited. I think it was like 60 bucks um, last season. And again, you could add a belt to this and make it belted, and you would have another interview look. Great way to go for a second or third interview. Okay, stay tuned to segment number three. We're going to go brown. Talk to you soon. Okay, we're here with look number three. And this look is your straight pencil skirt with a nice, beautiful blouse. Also very good to wear for an interview process. We have a nice flowy blouse from the Limited. I think it was like $40, $45. With a straight skirt from Ann Taylor Loft. They have a lot of nice, cute skirts this season. Ann Taylor Loft is great for sales. They're constantly, if you become a member with them on Facebook, where you can do 20 30% off if you're a Facebook fan. And then you can get a skirt that's 60 bucks for like $40. Great investment to your wardrobe. We opened up the shoe a little bit, first with an open toe shoe, and also a shoe that's a little bit more louder than before. So that is fine to do. If you're going to do open toe, I would do an open toe classic look. I would not do a sandal. I am wearing a sandal look shoe right now, and even though it's a great shoe, I would not do something that's more lacy and strappy for an interview setting. You really want kind of a closed toe professional look. We added a nice gold chain to this look, so this could be look number one. If you wanted to use this outfit again, and you're going back to the same company maybe for another round, again, just add a simple scarf to this, and we have a total another look. 
and again, it kind of covers up the neckline, so it looks like a different type of look for the outfit. You could change your shoe to a brown shoe, and you have a totally different look. Good luck with your interview in this coming season, college grads, and hopefully you found this helpful and how to put together some classic outfits for your interview process. Look forward to talking to you soon. This is Journey and Ashley. Bye-bye.